Hello, Hello Rumble. I am here to challenge every single one of you guys that are in the music industry or are listening to new music. And I'm also going to challenge those of you that are in music that think you're masters of music. I'm about to prove that you are not masters of music. And I'm about to prove this whole stigma of knowing music chords and progressions. I'm about to prove that that does not matter. Now, to start things off, I'm going to start off with a quote that, that I have had to learn over the years, years that was actually presented to me by one of my mentors, Koda Oda, who sadly is no longer with us. Now, in order, in order to call, call yourself a true artist, you must, must first drop all things you think are true about a certain band or genre and, and allow your mind to be opened up. up. So, so that you can draw from, from many, many styles at a moment's notice or when, when the time comes and is needed. Because only when you free your mind of the narratives that you have placed upon a genre or a style or a band or a certain artist can you begin to expand your knowledge and, and skills within, within music. Now, now in order to do that, that there's one thing, thing that you must do before you do that. that. In, in order, order to make that, that happen, you need, need to drop, drop all things you think of other genres and, and allow yourself, yourself to be opened up to other, other styles. See, See I am a master, master musician and artist. Why? Because I do not follow the traditional rules that society has placed upon music. Everybody has this stigma of saying that, you know, oh, skis and, you know, keys and scales and, you know, knowing music history and music theory, that, that matters. No, it does not. A real true musician and artist does not go by scale, does not go by key, does not listen to music theory, because music theory is a joke. And if you want to study an artist or study a musician, take Johann Sebastian Bach. Take Beethoven. You, you want to study them, them listen to their music, and, and how they do their music. Don't, don't rely on, oh, he did it in this, in this key, in this tone. No, that doesn't matter. A real artist, such as myself, does not follow the rules of mainstream music. Because music theory is a joke. A real, true master of his craft. A true artist. Which a lot of you artists cannot call yourselves a master craftsman. Such as I or the very few others out there that are musical geniuses. And in order to call yourself a master of your craft. There's one thing that you must do. Study other styles. Drop the stigma of what you think you know and listen to other bands and musicians and what they've done. And then you know what you do with that? You put it in the back of your mind and you forget about it. Until, until that, that time comes that you need it. Because a true artist does not listen to the rules of music. A true artist breaks the rules. Such as I. A 
real and true artist goes by gut instinct, by what they feel. In order to be a true musician and a true master of your, of your craft, you have to feel it. You have to feel what you're putting together. Whether that be a rock song, a hip-hop song. You have to put emotion into it. Which is where a lot of rappers nowadays fail. There's no substance in their music. It's all trash. It's, it's all about guns, gangs, drive guys, and who has the most money, and who has the most expensive car. That's not substance. That's garbage. Now, someone like myself, who is a master of his craft, which I have mastered my craft, I have proven that I am a musical genius, which I have, because I am that one dude that is able to take any style, any genre, and make them work with any other genre that I choose to make it work with. I can take EDM, I can take rock, I can take jazz, and I can mix them together and make them sound good. I can take classical, jazz, and rock, and metal, or whatever styles you give me, and I can make them work in unison with each other. That, that is what a true, true master is, is able to do. A, a true master draws on various styles and various genres. They, they don't just stick to one genre. A, a true master craftsman of music, music draws on different styles. One prime example of a band that does this quite well is one of the most important bands in music history, Lincoln Park. They not only do new metal, they don't just do rock, they draw on various styles and sounds to put into their music. Mike Shinoda is a master producer. Lincoln Park is a master of their craft. Because they have been able to do something that no one else in music history has been able to do. They have proven not only can they do new metal, but they have proven that they can do other styles as well and switch it up and make it sound good. So to all you people out there that think you're rappers, you're not. Just like you, PFV. You are not a true master of your craft. So what? You can rap fast. No one cares. At one point, I would have considered you a master of your craft. I would have considered you a master of your craft back when you first started out. Because back then you had substance into your music. But now, you're just like every other rapper. Filled of garbage and hatred and just nothing worth listening to. And I can't say this because I know you on that personal level. And you know this. So to any artist out there that wants to do music, I challenge you to this. Drop what you think you know about music in general. And start opening up your mind to other styles. Because once you open up your mind to other styles and to other genres and allow yourself to be immersed into those different styles, only then can you begin to study that style. Only then can you begin to master that genre. Once you immerse yourself into that genre and you study enough of that genre to fully know and comprehend fully what you are able to do with that genre, only then 
can you begin to master your craft of that genre? Whether that be rock, hip-hop, dubstep, EDM, it does not matter. Even any of that applies, even the classical music. Only once you study that style, and you don't just sit there and go like, oh, this person's doing it in this scale or that scale, no. Listen to the emotion that that person puts into that piece. Listen and hear the emotion. Feel that emotion that they put into that piece or into that song. Because only then can you begin to master that style. And only once you master every style of music to the fullest extent, can you call yourself a, a true musical genius and a true master craftsman such as myself? So as I said, this is a challenge for everybody out there that wants to get into music. I'm challenging you to do this. Every single one of you. 